Can individual urban transportation combine sustainability and profitability while making transport a democratic right free of charge? Almost everybody has realized the negative effects of releasing carbon into the atmosphere, especially in cities. Effects of a certain technology that has increased in private ownership, locked in urban infrastructure and harming us with pollution and noise for almost a century. The internal combustion engine technology. Cars are great, but not for last mile individual city travel. And in urban cities of Europe, authorities start to realize that technological change needs to be done. The mayor of Paris promised this autumn to remove 70,000 of parking spaces before she finishes off her four years in office. Why, might one ask? It's simple. She believes cities should be more adapted with pedestrian and bicycle lanes in the future. And she's not alone. These trends are showing in Berlin, London, Warsaw, and smaller cities in Sweden as well. This is why QuickCab was developed. QuickCab is, as you hear by the name, a quick cab driven on electricity and the paddle of a driver. By being 86 centimeters wide, it fits perfectly in bicycle lanes, lowering congestion on roads. It is more resource efficient, energy efficient, pollutant free, silent, and looks cooler than all the competition. If the transport is free, how do we make money? By validating three different customer segments, QuickCab wants to offer a cab pool bike service for property owners who wish to lower their costs of building parking spaces and garage. And second, a public service in needs to provide flexible individual travel for sick and old. And third, an unique out of home marketing. I quote, QuickCab is a great way of putting an edge to a company's marketing mix. Those were the words of a Scandinavian marketing director of Pinchos. About a thousand Swedes have tried to deride, and their biggest complaint is that there are so few quick caps out there. So what are our first targets? The goal is to show a proof of concept of this sustainable business model right here in Sweden, which we seek $100,000 from investors in order to produce nine more frames of the quick cab and the rest of the bike, the drivers, the operation and the maintenance is outsourced by a key partner called We Love Bikes, which drives similar vehicles but for delivering goods. Our mission is to internationalize, addressing urban cities in Europe with bigger needs of a solution. The vision? Let me ask you one more time. Can individual urban transportation combine sustainability and profitability while making transport a democratic right free of charge? The answer is yes, with the quick green cap.